Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. So we left at this point in time like where I like explained you the steps on how to proceed further. So I have already given a hint on how we'll be doing the same. So without wasting much of our time on this, let's get started. So the first thing first, we have to tokenize this entire text, right? So what I'll be doing is I will be importing like the word tokenization thing from the NLTK library. So from NLTK import word tokenization, right? Or word tokenize over here. So once this is done, what I'll be doing is now what I require now when we are actually looking at tokenization, we only used to have a single sentence. So we could have easily passed like word tokenization of X and we could have got the result over here. But now we have a uh, like a text for X of zero. We have a text for X of five. Similarly, we have a text for X of seven and so on and so on. So that means we are required to iterate over each and every text. We are required to iterate over each and every text and then tokenize the things. Right. Uh, we, we, we cannot pass something like word, word tokenize of X directly over here because that would actually like tokenize everything, like tokenize the X as a complete thing and not as individual sentences. So we could not do. So we have to actually iterate over each and every text and then tokenize. Iterate over each and every like uh, individual sentences or X of zero, X of one, something like this, and then like tokenize the following. But before that, I would also be like importing something like stop words because we could we would also like have to remove stop words as well so from nltk.corpus import stop words and then sw is equals to set of stop words dot words and then english right and i will also do like i will also create a list which is also known as more stop words here i would pass in some of the more stop words like like I will tell you why, why I'm doing so. So like what stop words I'm passing and why I'm doing so. So something like this slash and then br then uh, let's say comma full stop and something like this and this is right. So uh, why I'm using these most of words, like why I'm creating a most of word list. This is because I want to remove all of the punctuations like full stop, comma and all of that kind of thing. And also when this will be tokenized, so this uh, like opening bracket would be a complete, uh, I mean, would be a uh, like a separate word and this uh, slash and closing bracket would be a separate word, right? Like these would be three words. So we are required to like strip them as well. I hope I'm clear like this uh, opening bracket would be one token. This closing bracket would be one token and this slash would be one token. So we are required to tokenize all of these things, right? Or we are required to remove all of these kind of things. Similarly, like BR will also be one of my token that I, that I would like, like that I would be removing because this is a like a HTML tag. I don't think there are more HTML tags that are present over here, only the BR one because I have already analyzed this data set. In case you do not, you could also add some of the more uh, like, uh, you could have actually added some of the more, uh, tags like h3 h4 and whatever you wanted to add but i'm just creating one more list which is like consist of all of these stop words so i hope i am clear over here or i'm clear till here and now what i would be doing is that i would create one new list which is new underscore x and basically i would be like appending the sentence that i would be getting from like after tokenization and removal of stop words and i would be appending it to this new x over here Right, and uh, now I need to iterate over each and every text. So for i in range 0, comma, len of x, len of x is obviously 1000 because I have reduced that. So what I'm required to do is result is equals to word tokenize x of i. Right, and once this is done, what I could do is for j in result if j not in sw and j not in more underscore stop words so what i'm required to do is i'm required to like append this thing i hope i'm clear like i'm like i now have to append this thing over onto a new list so that i could join them so what i could do is basically i could actually create something like uh, like processed text process underscore text a list over here process text and then like uh, what i can do is 
like uh, process underscore text dot append j right so what i'm doing is i'm only like iterating over the text and after iterating i'm tokenizing the words and after tokenization i'm actually creating a new list which is known as process underscore text and in that list if like stop words are not there but like if that particular uh, like word is not in stop words i'm just appending it onto the text and then again i would be actually appending in something like this as well i mean a space as well and once this is done once this is done like uh, we are actually good to go and we need to append this into like new x as well so new underscore x dot append or uh, before that like once this is done what i need to do is yeah new underscore x dot append something like dot join process underscore text i hope i am clear till uh, like, like i am clear over here so what we're doing is we are only like iterating through every element i mean every sentence and then like word tokenizing that particular thing and then we're creating a list so this list will actually initialize itself in every every ith iteration uh, so and then like we are actually checking if that word is there in the stop words or not and in most stop words or not and if it's not there just appending that particular thing and then processing uh, the like joining the text and like appending it onto the new x over here so let me run this piece of code for you and let us see the final result and this is like and let us check if this is what we are expecting or not so so let us just print something like new underscore x of zero so this is what we are getting so as you can see like uh, we have removed stop words i grew watching loving thunderbirds all made schools and like a waste film utter rubbish make acceptable replacing i mean you could actually read this so we have actually pre-processed java text right and uh, basically one thing i would have done is i would actually have lowered the text as well so lowering the text would have helped because like then this would not have been treated as separate words so i would like to do that as well and i would like to add some of the more uh, stop words such as this opening bracket and closing bracket so these are some punctuation marks as well so i will add them over here and re rerun this piece of code so as to get a complete result or a more better result over here new result and then x of i is equals to x of i dot lower and then let us run this piece of code and let us wait for it to, uh, to complete and then now let us read this so Grew be 1965 watching loving thunderbirds made school watch play thunderbirds school lunch school wanted uh virgil scott one wanted allen counting five became art form because this is because we have actually removed all of the stop words so i guess this is working fine let me just have some more so x of 45 and then i mean yes there are some words that we do not want are remaining but i guess it's clean to quite a good extent and uh let me just use 101 and uh, just check so 101 i guess 101 should not be there 200 okay yeah so i actually used for 1000 uh, text and not for 100 so i thought it was for uh, 100 so let us use 1001 and as you can see this gives me an error so like i could actually have checked something like length of x underscore one new underscore x something like this as well so this is thousand yeah so everything is working perfectly fine over here uh, we have cleaned the text to a good extent we have tokenized that we've used some of the stop words removal technique and uh things stuff like that so i hope you are absolutely clear till this point like how to uh, clean your text we could have done a better job in cleaning but i'm not interested in doing cleaning stuff at this point in time because like, i just wanted to give an example on how to move forward with sentiment analysis and convert text into vectors so uh, i'm closing this lecture over here with the hope that you have understood the entire concept and uh like you have followed like what i have taught you over here so see you in the next one thank you